everyone and welcome to my channel love arts and crafts i love creating and i love painting and so you'll get those and singing you'll get that periodically some dancing but paint arts and crafts in today's video i'll be sharing with you the evolution of me drawing serena williams from i magazine She's looking beautiful, like I love it so much. And I decided I'm gonna try to draw it. And I proceeded to do so. I started on a Sunday, just been really motivated and amped to create on Sundays as well. And so I try to do something that's maybe, that's less than 30 minutes. And I prep for that. So hopefully I'm already dressed or I already know what I'm wearing. And that is a part of something that um, I chose to do that day. I had the image on my iPad and my canvas on the table. Did not sketch the image prior to. So I'm basically sketching on the canvas. Now, people would definitely tell you don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Don't sketch on the canvas because what happens is that you're creating extra lines that are harder to cover up when you go into paint. And even when you're erasing, because it's on canvas, it's really hard to get into those grains all the time. That is, I do draw on canvas more often. I Sometimes I just don't feel like redrawing, but you're gonna end up having to redraw or paint over that anyway, so you might as well just take that and do that process. And um, it is okay to draw something over and over again until you achieve the result that you're looking for. Learning to pay close attention to what I see on the paper or what I am looking at. So trying to keep my eyes glued to that, look down, look at the image, or look at the image, draw look at the image, draw versus drawing and not looking at the image. So then I will begin to create or make up things that is not present in the image or whatever it is I am observing at the time. Over the last few months, I have been really working to increase my ability to draw what I see, especially with facial features, facial features, features, and different angles of the face. Super helpful. I can see my growth. It doesn't take me as long to get the basic likeness down of, of an image, maybe like 30 minutes, which is um, not where everything is completely defined, but to get a sketch where it should at least look like whatever it is that I'm trying to draw. My husband, who is an artist, he is great at drawing silhouettes, figures, sketching, and I'm learning to sketch first versus go in and just begin drawing the shapes that I see. You know, so sketching with a lighter pencil and you're kind of just kind of marking out where the nose and the lips may be right instead I just begin to draw what I see permanent lines and then I erase as I go what doesn't make sense versus doing it the opposite way which is something I'm working on for me mentally seeing too many lines on an item that I'm drawing I just bothers me like I tell them it's like so many lines it's too much for me to look at and I don't know what to focus on. So he mentioned to, you make corrections because you're looking at your reference, right? So as I'm drawing and I'm sketching and there's a line I need to erase, instead of me trying to figure out by looking at the image, oh, what line I wanna erase, look back at my I wanna reference. capture the likeness and I, and I wanna say that it's getting there. The forehead gave me a lot of issues. Uh, just because of the angle, like, of her face, and it's slightly up. So this here, I don't know, it goes from, like, you know, your forehead, you know, to your, like, hairline and, you know, all the part of your skull, whatever. And it's, like, a little, like, because of where the forehead is, that little um, shape here, curvature that was messing up my life. And here, the lip, 
and how it uh, connects to the chin or like that shape and then under the chin and so you'll see towards the end the uh and it's gonna be gray i believe that the likeness is coming together i've started doing the painting uh using creating black creating by just using the values a light value and a dark value to create um, the nose and the features and so yes i'm excited about that process so make sure you hit that like button if you're liking what you're seeing The like button if you're liking what you're seeing here. Hit the like button if you're liking what you're seeing here. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. 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 I'll see you at the next video. Don't forget, don't forget to click the link. Goodbye. I'm using this iPad and sometimes I forget where I'm supposed to look.